of the new studio we formed about two years ago. And Jackhammer's our first game. Jackhammer is a very fast-paced, dodgeball-themed future sports FPS. If you're good at other FPSs, you probably will be good at Jackhammer in some ways, but it has its own sort of unique quirks. It's dodgeable, so one hit kills, and it's much faster than any any first-person shooter we've ever played. It requires quite a mastery of our movement mechanics. You have like a jetpack and you're literally able to sort of fly around. You're not stuck to a plane, you're not restricted by the map design. It's a combination of sort of dogfighting and first-person shooting. We're just two people, so we felt we wanted to do something that we could do as a team of two. So we picked a game with small environments, a game with low player counts. We wanted to make sure we built something that worked within those parameters. It's a multiplayer game, so hosting was, was one of our kind of big question marks from the outset. There's a lot of sort of subtleties that perhaps aren't that obvious. For example, how you try and match players up based on their physical location uh, and their latency to data centers and things. That's something that I hadn't spent a lot of time thinking about. Usually you have like teams of networking people to integrate all that stuff. Multiplayer games are really hard to make. There are times where we thought maybe we couldn't do this as a team of two. Dedicated game servers were a choice we made very early on in the development of Jackhammer because we knew that we needed very dependable latency. We thought about a few different solutions, but ultimately arrived at GameLift because it's very feature complete. If I was to design it myself, it would have probably taken about five years just to learn the skills. I, I've no idea. Being able to harness well-proven technology is a big part of what has given us confidence to actually release the game. People have high expectations of any developer. If you're developing a game, it's got to work. <laughs> There's really a huge swathe of, of kind of online services that Jackhammer really depends on. Leaderboards, cosmetics, customization, player transactions, player chat, uh, that's all handled by GameSparks. It saves us such a huge amount of time. It means that we can iterate quickly. If we identify a problem, it's a conversation between me and Patrick, and then we decide we do it. Amazon Game Tech has such a, a wide set of services that it really means that we don't have to worry about the back end of Jackhammer. Amazon GameSparks and Amazon GameLift basically fill in the gap that we could never fill ourselves. Without it, I don't think we're capable of, of tackling that kind of challenge. It's the difference between us being able to make it and not being able to make it.